imagine spending a lot of money for an official match ball to do this. I'm sure you guys can hear that. It sounds like the valve already needs replacing. I mean, I know that this football is very old. It came out in 2008 for the Club World Cup that Man United unfortunately won. But despite the fact that it's brand new, it's already leaking air. And don't worry, I've got the pump. So what you haven't been seeing off camera is every five minutes me pumping up the football and it's getting so frustrating. It's the noise again. Look at that. There's no way that that is good for knuckleballs. All those comments we get, oh, the ball's flat. Good one, like seriously. The valve is quite important because if that isn't right, the ball's not going to be right. And ultimately, that is what's happened today. So a bit of a blow, but what we're going to do now is replace the valve like we have done before. If it doesn't work, I'll be fuming and I've just wasted a lot of money. I'm so worried about this. Oh, wow. Okay. That's different. So what's happened is the valve itself has actually been pushed down and this has never happened before. Any other time I've done this with a match ball, it's been easy to claw in and just pull out. So I'm not sure what the next step is now. This is actually the hole now. So it will look similar to the valve, but the valve is actually, if you listen, in the ball itself. And when I rotate the ball down, I can feel the valve fall into the bottom. Unfortunately, the old valve is going to have to remain in the ball. It's been an absolute miss trying to get it out. No method is working. So I'm really hoping that once we insert a new valve that we won't hear the rustling noise as much. Okay, so as you guys have seen before, we're now going to apply Vaseline to the valve piece and this will help when slotting the valve into the hole here. There are now two valve pieces inside the ball. I'm absolutely livid. Normally the Vaseline method works but it hasn't on this occasion. I have managed to get the valve piece in now though. I didn't apply any Vaseline that time but the Vaseline method always works, so that's why I went with it. Um, really cross, really angry, getting slightly fed up, and now extremely anxious because this is basically the last chance for it to hold air. I'm not showing my face because I'm absolutely fuming still, so, oh my God, no, it's just gone, it's gone straight through. It's gone straight through again, so that's the third valve now in the ball. It's not, it's not sticking at all to the rim where the valve gets inserted to. So now there are three valves inside the ball. Honestly fuming guys, as a serious like, I spent a lot of money on that ball. It was brand new. I had great communication with the seller when buying the ball. Not at one point did he say that it would lose air slightly after a few goes. I mean, I'm not being funny, but if you pump up a football to send to someone, you know in that time if it's losing air or not and he didn't give me any indication that that was going to be the case i've had a really short free kick session and the ball loses air instantly an absolute mare there's like four valves or three valves inside the ball as well now i don't know what to do with it if you have any ideas let me know in the comments gutting about the ball it is gutting you know but let's wait and see what happens to the next ball <laughs> it's the first time it's happened it's the first time it's happened of all the ones that we've bought yeah you know yeah it's the first time so fuming so apologies on that video or that clip that footage being quite short to make up for it we're going to throw in some free kicks from right now in here enjoy still loving our bags from db and hopefully charlie will be loving these gloves as well the first pair of goalkeeper gloves i've ever owned without a strap so predator They're i'm quite smart, intrigued to see how we get on there yeah, i'm not sure about the colorway i wanted the red and black ones but can't complain, these are still really nice and they fit really up. good. Really comfortable as well. I've got quite skinny wrists, but they still fit perfectly. So, are yeah, they to gear gloves? Is that a fair 
comment. Possibly, maybe a couple of seasons ago, or maybe last season. Um, got spikes on them. Yeah, it's like a dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's test them out. But here I am. We've got Liam with us as well. There's the keeper. Keeper! Dino gloves. Dino gloves. Dinosaur. T Rex! <laughs> Comment down below if you are a goalkeeper and if you know how good it feels when you get a new pair of goalkeeper gloves. Or even a player, new pair of football boots, new pair of goalkeeper gloves, always a great feeling. So comment down below. Yeah, no, it's weird, it's like slow straight on. Hopefully I make some saves. Top, top call. I started moving back because I thought it was going over. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs>